Hello all, Andrea with I Dream of Crafting. This is going to be another time lapse. I promise tutorials are coming. If I don't get one up tomorrow, um, it'll be next week sometime, but they are coming, I promise. Um, so the image I will be doing today for this time lapse is a silhouette um, picture of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I finally got to uh, see it last week and it was amazing. Um, even if you're not a comic book fan or a Marvel fan, go see it. It is amazing. You don't need to be a fan of any comic books or Marvel to enjoy the movie. They, it, it really is an awesome movie. They did a very, very good job. So I'm going to be doing their silhouette and then on top of the painting I'm going to put their, um, the logo from the movie. So a little bit of everything in this uh, tutorial. You're going to see shapes, you know, the, um, the silhouettes and then you're going to get to see letters so it'll it'll be good so the uh, supplies you will need for this uh, painting or any painting are a cutting board a very sharp exacto knife a new blade if you can you know if you have one if you don't use the sharpest blade that you have I got new blades so that is a new brand spanking new blade um, a canvas. I have already covered mine with duct tape just to save on time. I picked uh, purple because I think that would go really well with the black and the gold. So, and as many rolls and colors of duct tape as you need, you know. So, I'm gonna. This is actually a lot of tape. <laughs> so, but most of these colors are for the letters. So, I'm going to try and do this really tiny Marvel logo up here. I'm going to attempt that. I'm not too good when it comes with this really small letters. I'm not too good at that yet, but practice makes perfect, right? So, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, and those are all the uh, supplies you will need. So, we're going to get started. I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start by uh, rolling out tape, um, just as wide and as long as you need it, overlapping by no more than a quarter of an inch, because um, you got to, you know, you got to think how you're going to cut through all those layers. Um, I was going back and forth on how I wanted to do this, but I decided just to put an extra piece of tape um, on top of the fabric for Groot and Rocket. So we're going to set this down and start cutting it out. I decided to cut out all the characters at once instead of cutting out one and putting it on the canvas and then going, you know, it, I, I, it would have taken too long. So we're starting with Star-Lord, played by Chris Pratt. Um, when he got the role, he actually dropped 60 pounds um, to play Star-Lord. So um, that's, you know, that's pretty impressive. Um, and he's actually a, um, an accomplished musician. He's played guitar for, um, ever since he was 16 years old. So I don't, I really don't think they could have gotten another, um, a better actor to play, um, Peter Quill. I, I really do think he's spot on for the, for the, uh, role, which is, you know, it, it follows what Marvel, you know, they're really good at picking their actors and actresses for their roles. I mean, Tony Stark as, you know, Robert Downey Jr. I mean, you could not find a better person to play Tony Stark. So, we're just gonna peel him up here. Alright, now we're gonna move on to Drax, the Destroyer, played by Batista. Um, going by the same name, Batista, in WWE. And I think he moved to TNA also after WWE, but he actually fought for the role of Drax. Um, they were considering another actor, I'm not sure who, but he fought and fought and fought for the role of Drax, and they gave it to him. Um, and when he got the role, he was so excited that he actually went out and he took extra um, acting lessons so that he could, you know, do the character justice. Um, also, he stood. Every day that he was uh, acting on set, he stood for four hours every day in makeup so that they could add the prosthetic tattoos all over his body. So that's, that's dedication. <laughs> uh, Gamora, 
Uh, I know her. Let's see, Zoe. Uh, I can't remember her last name, but she played Uhura in the new um, Star Trek movies. And the one thing she was worried about playing Gam uh, playing Gamora was she was worried about being painted green. <laughs> that that was her main concern, but. Um, I think she got over it pretty well, because uh, she did an awesome job with Gamora. Um, you know, usually female actors in, um, well, she was the first female um, superhero for Marvel to bring out. So, um, you know, she was really going to make or break any future. Well, I can't say that. There was Black Widow, but Black Widow was, you know, even in the Avengers, she was so un underused. So to have a character, a, a strong female character, like Gamora for the first time in a movie, it was it was awesome, and she did a wonderful, wonderful job. So now we're on to Groot and Rocket. This was a little hard to cut out because mainly because of Rocket, uh, he has a lot of twists and turns. But I started with Groot first. Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel loved it. He uh, put a lot of time into you know figuring out how Groot would how Groot would talk and enunciate, you know, to get his point across. Um, he actually recorded his line, I am Groot. He actually recorded it in five different languages so that they could use his voice for the other, um, for the other movies in other countries. So if you just Google Vin Diesel, um, Vin Diesel, Groot, uh, different languages, you'll find um, there's five different videos where you can watch him saying his line in, uh, I think it's Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, French, and there's a fifth one, I can't remember what it is, but I thought that was pretty cool. And Rocket, Rocket was interesting. Um, they actually used a real raccoon on set to make the CGI uh, version of Rocket look more realistic. Um, the raccoon's name was Oreo, which I think is adorable. So, those are just some little facts about the actors and the, you know, little glimpses into the characters. So I'm just going around the gun here. The gun was, it was okay. It, you know, just a lot of twists and turns on, on Rocket. So just cutting out those little spaces under his arm. And now we're going to tear it up. So this is going to go a little bit faster. Just because you've seen this before. I'm just I'm just um, very carefully removing all the matrix around the characters. Uh, making sure nothing rips and cutting where I have to if something didn't completely cut through the paper and the tape. So here's Drax, and now we're going to work on Peter. And you're going to see me like, uh, like right here, like use extra tape, um, or the, uh, yeah, the extra tape that to go over it. What I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the edges of the, um, of the figure. Um, cause duct tape has the fiber interwoven into the, uh, into the duct tape. So when you're cutting out things like this, sometimes the fab, the, um, tape will come away, but you'll have fiber that still is holding on. So you, so you have to, you have to, um, you know, try and get that fiber up. And the best way is to just, you know, um, the best way is just to go along the edge where the fiber is and then just use tape and, um, you know, have the fiber st stick to the tape. So here we are trying to release Rocket here. Um, just because of all those twists and turns and really thin lines, he, he, and, he and Groot were really hard to cut out, release here. Um, Groot, not so much, but Rocket, definitely, because they, he had all those little, you know, little edges to him. So, I'm going to put him on here. I had a hard time, set, you know, centering it, but I got it. And now we're just very carefully going to 
rip these guys up, being very careful, especially, you know, with the little details. So Drax's hands and his daggers, you don't want to break those off, you know, trying to get them up. You, I, I could have... I could have, re uh, you know, cut those and then just fitted them back in, but it's better if you can do it all in one go. Once again, Peter's hands and his gun, his elemental gun, which I don't really think was too elemental in the movie, it just looked like a stun gun. Hopefully they fix that <coughs> in the uh, sequel. It was still a really good movie. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his uh, weaponry. So here's Gamora. She was a little. She was the hardest one to get up because she's just so much thinner than all the other silhouettes. So she was. She was a yeah. And you notice I haven't done her um, her sword yet because her sword goes um, goes over Groot's legs. So either way, I would have had to cut out either her gun or I'm sorry, her sword separately or Groot's leg separately and I didn't want to you know cut Groot in half so I just decided to do her sword um, at a later time so now I'm just cleaning it back up again anything you know when you place it on the um, the colored tape you uh, see it I'm gonna do this for all the characters I'm just gonna show you Groot though and then time skip so here's her sword. I printed off another um, picture, and I'm just uh, I'm actually looking at a picture while I'm doing this on my laptop, so that her sword actually has some uh, some uh, what do you call it spaces in it. But it was so it the silhouette is so thin, and it's cover it's mostly covered up by Groot anyway. I decided just to leave it real simple. I did the little hook, you know, by the hilt, but I didn't do the, um, I didn't, I didn't cut out the, um, other elements of the sword, because it's just, it would, it would have just been covered up by Groot anyway, <clears throat> so you wouldn't have been able to tell that there were any spaces there, so, but I did lift up her, her hand and put it, you know, put the sword under her hand. Um, and then I realized that I forgot Star-Lord's red eyes from his mask, so here I'm just, I just took a piece of tape, cut a square out, and then out of that square I just rounded the corner, corners, <clears throat> so, um, to give him his red eyes. So, this is part one, I had to, uh, I, the letters took a lot longer than I thought, so I had to do a part two. So please go over to part two, and, um, we can finish this, uh, photo.